So here we go then folks, it is time for the round of eight part of the chase. Um, we're going to kick it off around Kansas Speedway for the Kansas Lottery 300. Uh, we're now down to eight drivers to see who's going to win this championship. So uh, without further ado, I think we should uh, jump on in, get uh, qualified and raced and let's see uh, what happens. But first, check out the reputation. So you can see from the uh, reputation here in the Xfinity series, uh, still the four rivals, Christopher Bell, Jeremy Clements, uh, Kevin Harvick and Spencer Gallagher. We did avoid a fifth rival in Ryan Priest in the last video, but thankfully we apologised and Priest saw the uh, error of his way. Everyone else is either friend or not so much friend. But, uh, you know, we, uh, we carry on. We carry on to uh, we carry on to the big time, as they say. So the uh, round of eight, as it stands, and uh, you'll see that we are top. I would say we're practically a lock already for the championship round, but uh, you don't want to catch your chickens before they hatch around here because anything could happen. Uh, Cole Custer in second, Elliot Sadler third, and Justin Allgaier is in the fourth position. Uh, out of the uh, contention at the moment is Christopher Bell, Daniel Hembrick and Brandon Jones and Matt Tift. So I do believe we've got to we've got to do something to get them in because if we don't do something to get them in, the chances are that they may not get in. But I, I would say I would say we're a lock, so it's the other seven fighting for the other three places going to Homestead. That's that's what I would say right now. So then, the Kansas Lottery 300 from Kansas Motor Speedway. Man half track, which is uh, our strong point uh, recently. We've still got all this momentum that we're carrying through as well. So we're going to get out there. We're going to get uh, raced up as well. And uh, then, hopefully, we're going to win uh, another race. And then when we've run won that race, we're off to Homestead. So let's, without further ado... Let's go get qualified, get it done. Alrighty then folks, let's get underway here at Kansas. Joe Nemechek didn't have a good practice session. When do they? Vinny, whoa, Vinny Miller has been dominant. Whoa, so hard. Uh, in fact, he was so dominant, he's actually on pole. <laughs> we didn't qualify pole. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, green flag of the air, let's go race in the Kansas folks. And uh, we've got to do something about the dominant Vinnie Miller, who's going to play a big spoiler today, I think. Uh, unless we uh, do something drastic, he's going to win this uh, He's going to win this boat race. But we're going to go around the outside of... Uh, we're fighting with Justin Olga at the moment, side by side with him. Cole Custer and Daniel Hemrick on our rear. There's Vinnie Miller in front of us. We're going to sneak it down in front of Olga, but Olga is going to fight as hard. And we're going to just breeze around the outside of Vinnie Miller. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you later. How you doing there, folks? All right. How you doing? Oh, that was uh, that was as easy as you like. And I think it's only going to get uh, easier from here as we go into turn one and two. No uh, dip. Oh, look at the back end of the car wiggling all around. It's uh, not a very stable car today, but she's... Uh, Stable enough. We need to keep her like this. If we can keep her as uh, stable as we like, we are going to win this motor race, and that's what uh, that's what we need to remember, and that's what we need to concentrate on. If we can do that, we can do anything. Nothing is uh, out of our reach today. We're just going to go about our business and book our ticket to Homestead. If we don't get it here, we know we're guaranteed it at Texas. And that's how we've. Uh, that's how we've got to uh, look at things, I'm afraid. But uh, if we don't look at it that way, then where are we going to go from here? Who knows? So we just... Uh, we just carry on. Carry on uh, as you like. So Vinnie Miller's still in uh, second place. He's fighting with Cole Custer, Justin Olgaier, Daniel Hemrick and Christopher Bell. They're all within 0.2 of a second of each other, so we can only bet, well, if we look uh, behind us, they're going to be literally nose to tail. They're going to be just about, I would say, nose to tail. Uh -huh. 
and that's what uh, that's what we need to uh, that's what we need to remember. Just keep it easy, keep it clean, no harm, no foul. We can do that. We can do anything. So through turn through turn four, coming to line for Cole Custer's now overtaken Vinnie Miller. Where's Vinnie Miller's speed come from? Vinnie Miller's been nowhere all season, and out of nowhere he's just decided, oh, you know what, I'll do Kansas, why not? Unless Kansas is his home race. Is uh, Kansas Vinnie Miller's home race? Who knows? Who cares? But uh, now that Cole Custer's got away from Vinnie Miller, he's starting to pull a bit of a gap to him. So Vinnie Miller may have been dominant all weekend, but uh, when it comes to Cole Custer, it, uh, there's nothing there... Uh, at the moment, but uh, it looks a good uh, turn turnout here at Kansas. I don't uh, normally see it as a good turnout here, as we uh, fly into turn one and two. Remember, Seb of that yellow line, Ian. That yellow line is a uh, is a foul line here. It's not a. It's the only track I think which is a unique. It has a yellow line in the first two quarters, and then it has a no yellow line in three and four. I think it's a unique one, that one. I mean, you look down the bottom now, there's a red, white, white, still white line, still a white line, it's still a white till there, and then it still becomes a yellow line. Why? Somebody explain that to me. Cole Custer is coming. He has increased the gap to 1.1 seconds. He is coming, and he is coming fast. That is all that needs to be said on that, folks. He is coming and coming fast. Because we nearly uh, dip it well below the white line. It wouldn't surprise me if Justin Olgar got past Vinnie Miller in a second. Two to go in the stage. Daniel Hemrick's in uh, close attendance as well. I don't see the back of the field yet, and we usually uh, see them by now. So maybe they, uh, they picked up their pace as well. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Who knows? But Kansas is a 30-second oval, so uh, maybe it's just uh, a bit big for um, for us to uh, put some cars a lap down already as we cross the line. Want to go in the stage, presented by Credit One Bank, and it's looking pretty easy for RCR 99 Dark as the sun gleams off the back bumper down the back straightaway. There they are. So I think we uh, we would just uh, it's just too big. Cole Custard extended the gap now to two seconds over Vinny Miller. Justin Olgar and Daniel Hemrick cannot get past. That is incredible. That shocks me. But we will take P1 in the stage. Get in. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see, folks. That is what we wanted to see. We wanted to win that stage badly. So, I think we'll uh, we'll pit, shall we? Let's pit. Let's get this uh, bad boy sorted for the next stage. Right front looking absolutely depressed. So we'll fill her up uh, for a can. I think uh, loosen her up a little smidge. Put a bit of weight in the tyre. And I think job's good. So let's get on, on to uh, stage number two then, shall we? Or put a bit of weight in there as well. Aha, so. Let's get it underway again, folks. It's going to be uh, stage number two. Green back in the air. Let's go racing, folks. This is uh, how we're going to do it. We are going to make sure that we uh, do this and we do this right. Because if we don't do it right again, like I said, we are in a hell of a lot of trouble. And we don't want to be in that trouble. We want to be out of the trouble. Something's not going right with my leg here. Where is it? There it is. That's it. There we go. So, Vinnie Miller didn't get past Cole Custer. Does that shock me? Yes, it does. Does it surprise me? No, it doesn't. But uh, you never know. You never, ever, 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 ever know in this game. 
anything uh, could happen in the next uh, half hour. That's uh, what we all like to uh, believe all the time. But now, look at this, now John Hunter Vibacek's uh, coming to play and he's a pretty fast car so if he can uh, get in and disrupt the party that would uh, that would be amazing. Uh, you might also hear uh, something in a second, I hope you don't, but uh, you never know. So we're going to come through, where, where, are we? where are we, we're turn one and two. Cole Custer's uh, two seconds behind, there's Vinnie Miller's a half second behind him. Daniel Hemrick's right on his tail. So Daniel Hem if Daniel Hemrick's going to win this race, he's going to uh, get past Vinnie Miller. Kevin Harvick is uh, now playing. Oh, look at this, we've got non-playoff contenders in the top five. Fighting it out as well. We've This is what I mean. This, this is the beauty of the chase that you are seeing right about now. The beauty of the chase is the non-chase contenders can come in and spoil the party. And that's what everyone likes to see. If they can come in and they can spoil the party, then there's, there's, there's no hope for everyone else. But it's all about, at the end of the day, the chase contenders. There's eight of us, and there's, what, 40 drivers. Do the math. And once you've done the math, come back to it. Because it's incredible. Now look at this, Kevin Harvick has now passed Daniel Hemrick. So Kevin Harvick is now ruining Daniel Hemrick's race as we get very loose in turn two. Whoa, that back end absolutely stepped out then. Stepped out an absolute donkey. She's a bucking bronco and uh, she's bucking around as uh, Kevin Harvick now overtakes Vinnie Miller. I thought I read somewhere early in the day as we crossed line five to go that uh, Vinnie Miller was dominant. The team's confidence was uh, palpable. Well, it can't be that palpable as he's gone down to fifth now. Elliot Sadler's uh, decided to come and play. The back end of our car is just snapping around like an absolute you-know-what. It's it's just incredible. It's absolutely incredible, folks. How on earth is it allowed to do that? I will never, ever know. But it is doing that. And that's the one thing that should never, ever change. Just get the car set up the way it is and we're laughing. Cole Custer's now extended the gap to uh, two seconds over Kevin Harvick in uh, second place. So third place, he's second place. Ryan Ruiz now in the uh, top five. The, the, the non-playoff drivers are spoiling it. It doesn't bother me because we're in we're in the lead. So if they want it, they've got to come and catch me. And uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be catching me anytime uh, soon, which is uh, what we like seeing. We like seeing it when uh, they don't catch us. Can't catch me. I'm not the gingerbread man. Uh, we'll we'll just keep extending the gap to Cole Custer. Kevin Harvick can keep doing his thing. Excuse me! Our throat is absolutely killing us. Should we do good there? Still fizzy. Still fizzy uh, drinking now. We got some Vimto. We might have some Vimto as well. That's, uh, that's a good thing. Vimto is good lubricant for Ian's throat. A very good lubricant indeed. Cole Custer's now extended the gap to about two and a half seconds. So I think if we're going to beat anyone today, we're going to beat Cole Custer. Because we've uh, we've got to beat him. We've got to beat him uh, pretty quickly as we get the one to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. This car just needs to hold on a little bit longer. And then we can uh, sort out some uh, pits for it. For the final stage. That's what uh, we're going to be concentrating on now. As we go into turn... Three, out, coming out of turn four it's going to be a dive to the line and we're going to win stage number two at a canter it is easy at the moment folks easy for RCR 99 dark let's get that trending shall we fantastic get it right then Let's pit again. 
So this is going to be the penultimate pit stop. We're going to have one final stop in this stage, and I think then we're going to be all over it. So we've adjusted the pressures back. We'll loosen the car up a little bit more. That's probably the wrong way to go. We don't need to repair the car. It's all looking good. Yes, folks, it's all looking hunky dodly doodly da for stage number three. Myself and Cole Custer on the front row. And here we go. Green is back in the air for the final stage. Let's get going. And look who's behind us. Kevin Harvick. Oh, Kevin Harvick giving us the push through past Cole Custer. That's his teammate he's just given us the push to. And now he's uh, rubbing on our back bumper. He wants to cut that out. Otherwise, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Our car's bucking him out. Oh, Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick has put it. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Bloody Kevin Harvick, man. What an idiot. Oh, well, we're going to have to put the wedge back in and we'll put some pressure in the right rear. Let's see if uh, let's see if that gets uh, the job done, shall we? I'll kill Harvick when I get my hands on him. <sighs> hey, we're at the back of the field, folks. How are we doing all here? I'm sure we're all loving life back here, and I'm pretty sure we all want a piece of meat. So let's get the green back in the air. Let's do this, folks. Let's try and uh, let's try and get this done. So we just hang it back a bit. 23 laps to go. I think we should be uh, good from here. Well, not good uh, as in fuel, but uh, we should be on a better strategy than everyone in front of us. We can take, see him taking nice and easy around the outside round. Alex Abay sees the champions. We're up right behind uh, Ty Majeski. Stephen Light in front of us. We're going to go round the outside of them. Oh, almost into Josh Balicki. We just held it there. Spencer Gallagher. We've got to get past him. That's a uh, job done. As uh, we hit the wall, then hit Joe Nemechek, and now uh, we're in the wall again. Okay, well, we'll have a caution. Let's see what we can do from here. <laughs> Oh, there's times I just want to turn around and take a swipe at someone. But then i got to remember, I've got a championship to win. Let's get back to it. Green back in the air, folks. Let's go racing! Let's see what uh, let's see what we can do as here as well. I hope we can do something. because Oh, give the wall a little kiss on the uh, inside as we head into the first one. Now, look. Now that we've got better tyres... We should be able to get around a lot of these scrubs as we come up to the back of Spencer Boyd, who uh, will set tiny on us if um, if we step out of line with him. Where's Spencer Gallagher? There's Spencer Gallagher. He's on the inside of Nemechek, and we'll breeze around him quite easily. There's Gat Smythe, Kaz Grala, Joey Gase, BJ McLeod, and Jeff Green in front of us. What's Jeff Green doing that far up? Have a word. You're getting a uh, nosebleed being up that high there. Jeff! There's Sindrick. Oh, into the wall. We hit the wall as we were trying to pass Sindrick. He's uh, our first player of contender, Brandon Jones. <coughs> that should be easy. Jeremy Clements is right there. That's uh, another job done. There goes Tyler Reddick. Here's Matt Tiff. Now, Matt, how oh, into the wall again. Matt, how are we going to do this, mate? Because uh, you're in the way. You are in the way. And you need to get out of it. Thank you. There's Michael and Nett. Cruise up to the back of the net. Give him a little punch uh, in the rear. Get him down the uh, straight. Somewhere up here we've got to find... Uh, well, there's Truex and Sieg. We've got to find uh, Christopher Bell. Get past Christopher Bell and Kevin Harvick. Well, I see Harvick. I've just seen uh, Harvick in the green car. Let's see if uh, we'll see Christopher Bell. There's Vinny Miller. He's dropped to eighth. So much of being dominant all weekend, eh, mate? Ooh, Ty Dillon's up here. Here's Christopher Bell. We've got to get past him and we've got to get past it. Look at the state of Ty's car. Ty, I feel sorry for you, mate. 
Now, how are we going to play this? We've got to get past Crystal Bell and we've got to get past him clean and quick. Because if not, he's going to have us. <coughs> 15 to go. So now we're in the fuel window here. Now we're in the fuel window. Try and make it. There you go. Get past him. Get past Priest. Job done. Hemrick is next. This should be an easy pass. And then Harvick. And then we just go worry about the two cars in front, which looks like Cole Custer and John Hunt and Ibercheck. Oh, it's Ryan Reed. I do apologise. What's Harvick going to do? Ah, he's going to do nothing. So, Ryan Reed next. And then Cole Custer. 14 to go. We've hunted them down. We're here. Can we get back to where we need to be? <coughs> it looks like we can. And we're going to slide underneath Cole Custer. And that should be job done. Back in the lead. Back where we belong. Let's see where we go from here. It should be plain sailing from here on in now. It's all also a question of when they're going to pit. Because if they pit soon, then uh, we're going we're gonna to have some fun. Because we'll be on the lead lap. We can take four tyres and we can just pile drive the rest of the field into submission. Which is what we like to do. We like to uh, pile drive the field into ultimate submission. Something that we don't like to do is uh, lose our voice, and we're rapidly losing our voice, and that's not good ahead of uh, live streams. We uh, we don't want to lose them. We don't want to lose our voice. Also, with our uh, travel blogs as well, we don't want to lose a lot of the uh, voice there. But our voice is, uh, has been on constant, and that's the way it's going to stay. We like it when we're on a constant voice. So we get uh, 11 to go. We can uh, carry on for another few laps. How much longer are they going to be able to go? Uh, it can't be too much longer. They've got to pit soon. <coughs> but when will they pit? Ryan Reed's gaining on Cole Custer. He's only a point one of a second behind him. Let's see if they, uh, they pit this time. They, uh, they haven't pit yet. They're really extending this fuel out. That's, uh, yeah, that's interesting. They've already gone 16 laps and the field road was 15. So where are they getting this from? Where, where are they possibly getting this from? They're getting it uh, from somewhere. Cole Custer actually took a tenth out of us then. That's uh, weird. How are they extending this uh, fuel run? That's impossible. You, you, you cannot... Um, I cannot begin to tell you how much of an impossibility it is to extend this fuel run. Because it's almost as if it's being done, I don't know, on purpose. They're, they're trying to extend it as long as they can. Ah, uh, there's why they were trying to extend it. Now we know why they were going for the caution. Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. So, looks like, uh, well, what do we do? Do we four tyres, two tyres? we got to take tyres. Looks like we'll just take right sides. Take right sides and uh, we'll get out of here because uh, we got to get this done. We dropped a fourth behind Kevin Harvick. Oh, good lord, this is going to end one way and one way only, and it's not going to be the best way that uh, it's going to end. Harvick instantly up the track. He's trying to block us. We're going to sneak in behind Daniel Hemrick here. Vinnie Miller has come back up to sixth place, so maybe dominant Vinnie Miller is uh, going to get his own way again. <clears throat> but I think we want to stay behind Harvick for the moment because uh, Harvick is trouble Vinny Miller now up into 5th Cole Custer's out in the lead with Ryan Reed behind him 
Let's see if we can get Kevin Harvick off a of turn four. I think we can just clear. Whoa, that was tight. That was tighter than a Nats what's it right there. Ryan Reed now throwing the block into turn one. We're really up high on the track. That's reserved for a guy named Kyle. As the, the back end of our car steps out a bit, Cole Custer now in the lead. I think we've got to uh, do something here. Go go round the outside. Oh, we're high, we're high, we're tight, we're tight. We're loose off the corner too. And oh, look at that crossover. That's how the crossover's done, folks. Crossing the line, three to go. And we're going to give Cole Custer a bit of a reminder of who we are as we come through. Oh, but the car's still tight. Good Lord. And loose. It's tight. It's loose off turn two and four. That's not good. That's not a good recipe for a car. Not a good recipe for a car at all. We need to get that sorted and we need to get that sorted pretty darn quick. Because if we don't get that sorted, we're in trouble. Eh, eh, we're in trouble. Something's coming on and it'll burst our bubble. Oh dear. Two to go was the call then, folks. We're going to come round three and four. We're going to get the one to go presented by Credit One Bank. And uh, it's going to be the best one to go that uh, we're ever going to have the feeling of. So here we go. One to go. One to go to book our ticket to Homestead. Cole Custer, second. Daniel Hemrick, third. It's going to be... Uh, I think this has uh, been deserved. We have been... Someone went into the wall there. Powell drove in there pretty hard as we come out of turn three and four. Head for the line. Dorothy, click your heels, darling. We are off to Homestead. Woohoo! We are off to Homestead, baby. That is how the job is done. As we view the Exalta race recap. And uh, if we're being fair, it all looked uh, pretty easy for us. We uh, we won stage one at um, a canter. We, were, we won stage one. We won stage two at Canter. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, we made contact with Cole Custer. Oh, yes, we, this is when we made contact with Cole Custer thanks to Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick screws his own teammate. But Cole Custer will still blame us. We get into it, JJ Healy. Oh, there you go, Jay. Have those over that, mate. Not my fault, that JJ. Pass for fourth. Pass for third. Pass for first. Thank you, Cole Custer. And we didn't look back. Well, we did. When that bullshit caution came out. Whew, look at the car as it gets all over the place, out of shape. There's the free pass for the lead. Take the checkered flag, baby. So we win Kansas Speedway, booking our ticket to go to the big show at Homestead. Fuck yeah. Fuck, fuck yeah. That's how it's done, folks. How it's done.
That should tip us over nine and a half million. That's enough to get an Xfinity team going. We're booked. S lick it and send it. Stamp of approval. This is nice. This is very nice. Yeah, keep celebrating, mate. We're going to celebrate all night long after this one. All day, every night. Beat to you too. We set the fastest lap, 31 and a half flat. Led the most laps as well, so you can see why we deserve to win that race. Jeremy Clement's car on the move, 36 to 11th. John Antony check, tough break, kid. Tough break. 10th to 40th. We'll head to the shop. Boom. JJ, yeah, and that's what I call a win. Ian will pull the winners fast. Exactly. JJ, you get it. I deserve that win. Of course I did. Ty. Daniel Emmerich. Nice win at Kansas. Super fast, super clean. Amazing, amazing. Elliot Sadler. Oh, whatever, Elliot. Shut up. Cole Custer, check the tapes. Ian Paul won at Kansas. Now, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Your teammate nonced into me. And then you hit me. You know what, Cole Custer? You know what I say in times like this? Do you, do you know what I say in times like this? I say, fuck you and your arrival now. Well, you, you can retire. That's what you can do. Great. Now I've got a fifth rival. Cold Custer's my rival. Ooh, time to go to Martinsville. Uh they just love Martinsville some of the time, all of the time, none of the time. Never. Never, ever, 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 I'd love to know why Xfinity don't go to Martinsville. World's weirdest question. Why does the Xfinity series not go to Martinsville? Answers on a postcard. Or answers on anything, really. You know? Maybe you have an answer for something, maybe you don't. But that's going to do it, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, that race around Kansas. We're one step closer to winning that Xfinity Championship. Leave a like if you like this video. It does help me out a ton. And uh, until next time, when we go racing around Texas, we will see you guys, every single one of you, for your continued support. On to the next video.